Welcome back to Puerto Rican Panorama. I'm Diego Castellanos. Today we're discussing immigration, the issue of immigration. And uh, whenever we talk about immigration, you know, it is an assumption in our community, uh, speaking about the uh, Hispanic community that I belong to, is that it is an assumption that all Hispanics uh, are open to open immigration because they themselves, we ourselves, you know, are, are somewhat of immigrants. I say somewhat because I was born in Puerto Rico, which is part of the United States, so I was born a U.S. citizen. Uh, but, you know, most of the Hispanic community that you see uh, in, in the area, uh, you know, consider themselves to be, to be immigrants. And um, whenever we speak, you know, our leadership, uh, they speak uh, in behalf of the community. And there are some people in the community who don't necessarily agree with the leadership, and they're, you know, they're saying to the uh, leadership, uh, you know, you don't speak for me. And uh, I have invited uh, uh, Marian Davis, uh, who's an attorney, uh, who's vice president of an organization that happens to be called You Don't Speak For Me. And uh, I have seen her uh, in uh, lectures and, uh, you know, on television programs several times. And, uh, you know, she has a valid point, and I've invited her to join us on this discussion about uh, immigration. Uh, Marianne, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, explain the organization. Well, You Don't Feet Speak for Me uh, came about as a coalition of Hispanic Americans of Hispanic descent, started by um, Colonel Al Rodriguez uh, out of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I became involved in the issue in 2006. Um, you in have response Hispanic to the, roots yourself. Yes, yes. My, my, my parents are both from Ecuador. They're naturalized citizens. They've been here over 50 years. My father served in the military. Um, and there were several, many of us that got together who had the similar stories. And we felt that after, in response to seeing the marches and the push for uh, amnesty in 2006, a bill that was sponsored by Senator John McCain, Arlen Specter, uh, Senator Martinez, et cetera, um, that there was a lot of uh, national organizations, uh, particularly um, Hispanic organizations, that took a certain position uh, and were advocating for this bill and for amnesty and for the provision of immigration and citizenship benefits to the population of, of illegal immigrants that are currently here in the country, and representing their opinion as if it was for the entire community. And there was there is a diverse, just like the Hispanic population in general, is a very diverse population, culturally, ethnically, linguistically, even politically, and on this issue as well. And we felt that it was necessary uh, to go out and talk to the legislators, talk to the people in Washington and Congress um, to say, you know, to give our opinion as well, that, you know, it's not a monolithic view on immigration. Yeah, we don't all feel the same about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, is it basically the legal versus uh, undocumented issue that you have problems with? Well, yes. I, th this nation is a nation of laws. We, you know, th there's millions and millions of people who have come here legally, who've respected the process, who've respected our laws, our customs, our traditions, our, you know, and we expect everybody else to do the same. Um, and this is not a, this is not a, a, a racial is issue, an ethnic issue, it's a legal issue, it's an economic issue, and it's a national security issue. Mm. Yeah. I, 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 uh, how do you feel about guest workers? Well, right now we have, what, 16 million unemployed Americans. And in last month, there was a spike of 435,000 more Americans who lost their jobs. Right now, we can't even be, we shouldn't even be talking about that possibility at this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's it not in. fair. Yeah. It's really not fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we have to be, right now, immigration policy should reflect the realities of the unemployment situation for American workers, which includes people of all nationalities and races and, uh, you know, legal citizens, you know, temporary citizens or temporary residents, et cetera. But those are the economic realities that we need to face right now. Yeah. Just one last question, uh, just so I understand, you know, where the, uh, the group stands. Uh, bilingual education, where do you stand on that? We haven't really formed an opinion about that. We really have been focusing on 
the all the issues related to immigration reform. Economics. Yeah, and economics. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I I was just curious. Uh, I, I appreciate you joining us on this, sure. and uh, we're going to take a quick break, but we're going to be back uh, uh, with the folks from the Pennsylvania Immigration uh, Group uh, to continue the discussion on this, and uh, hope that you stay with us. You know, uh, and you're advocates for, for immigrants, migrants, and refugees. And refugees. Uh, which is very humane, uh, and and, uh, and and you know I, I I think most people are in support of that. I think the issue that I've seen you know over the years is that that is very humane, but no other country in the world would allow people to simply walk in without papers, without permission, without passports, without all kinds of you know. Uh, w the country needs to know who's here. Absolutely. It's like somebody coming into your home in the middle of the night, and, and you want to know that that person is in your house. Absolutely, and I think that's why we need to improve our immigration system, because, we, because there is a flow of people that we don't know about. I think that makes us less safe. If we were to address some of the issues with our immigration system so that you know, the children of green card holders could come here legally, so that the spouses of U.S. citizens could stay legally, we wouldn't have this, this number of people entering without documentation. We'd know everybody who was here, and we'd be able to find the few bad apples and get rid of them. We, all, you know, we live here. We all want to be safe. And I think figuring out who's here, having folks come forward, will allow us to do that. I, I agree, except that what people are, have a concern with, have a problem with, is that if they enter the country uh, undocumented, I don't mm -hmm. want to use the word illegally because you know it's a negative word, sure. but they were undocumented, they didn't have documents, they didn't have permission to enter the country, uh, F f to now give them blanket amnesty, saying it's okay, you know, just come out of, come out of hiding, and and uh, you know we'll give you whatever benefits uh, other citizens are receiving. Uh, right. I think a lot of people have a problem with uh, health benefits, uh, educational benefits, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it, it, it's just seems illogical to a lot of people. 